Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your weekly love reading. Let's see what's coming up for you. Um, Cancer, what's coming up in the cards? Okay, might have an Aquarius coming in around you with the star card here. Um, this is really moving forward in a situation. Healing. Um, this is destiny. This is you following your destiny when it comes to matters of love. Okay, the High Priestess is revealed. The Ace of Pentacles, the doorway is here. Very nice. And you have the Nine of Chalices reversed. Okay, so two nines and they both seem to be reversed. Nine is a number of endings. Um, but they are coming up reverse, so this would indicate that an ending is not in sight. So for some of you that feels uh, that feel like you have been disconnected with someone, or you feel like you were wanting to end something with them, um, this could very much indicate that that ending will never come to fruition. It will never come to pass for some reason. You do have an ace. Um, three Earth cards, Taurus, Cap, Virgo coming up around you. It's like the doorway. Some of you might be moving in with someone here. I don't know if it's necessarily something that you've wished for or something that you might not necessarily be financially ready for, but I feel like um, you're going to be jolted into action is what I get here um, with, with the star card. The fact that the star card is here, um, I feel like it is indicating that you will be sort of um, sort of following, following the energies, I think, um, which I think is the right thing, but for some reason... The nine, of, the nine of Cups, which is the Wish card, is reversed. Is this really what you want, Cancer? Because a part of you isn't overly convinced that you're happy, I think, with the two nines reversed. The Nine of Pentacles being a card of complacency and happiness. Um, or it could be a case where you're not, where you're not where you thought you'd be with the person, with whoever this is that you're with. The High Priestess is reversed, so... Um, normally you're quite intuitive and, and read things well in a situation, Cancer, but this this week it's almost like your intuition is reversed. You can't, it's almost like you can't gauge how someone is feeling about you. It's almost like, you know, the doorway is, is ajar and we see these like little specks of gold, um, what looks like um, little bubbles, little specks of gold and, um, you know, we still can't see completely in. We still can't see all the way in, Cancer. So the door is opening up, which is good. I do feel like a lot of you might be talking, moving in with someone or, or approaching the next stage in a connection, or you've got a powerful new romance coming up around you. That's part of your destiny, so to speak. You could be meeting this person online or be starting an online relationship or a connection that was once online is, is becoming more is becoming much more um, than you thought it would be. Um, but I do want to go back to these reverse nines and the high priestess, the fact that she's reversed. She normally represents things like fruitfulness and growth. Cancer, could it be a case of you're not moving forward with someone here? Um, because deep down, subconsciously, you haven't healed from a different connection, maybe. I don't necessarily see cards that would indicate the past. Uh, I would see maybe the fact that the water bearer is here, the sun card, the, the vessels, the pouring out of vessels is... Um, the pouring out of emotions or the clearing of emotions... It could also be, Cancer, that you don't feel like you can fully pour out your emotions because someone hasn't done it to you. For example, maybe you've said you love someone and they haven't returned that yet. And you're sort of sitting, sitting, watching and waiting when that opportunity will come, when they'll sort of open the door here for you. Um, because I do feel like a part of you wants to be further than you are um, in a relationship, in a connection or with a person. So just because you're not you're not there yet doesn't mean it can't happen. But I feel like the nine of chalices could denote that you aren't or you wish um, this this was more than what it is right now. I don't see you forcing things. There isn't any cards that would indicate you forcing like the door open. You're sort of letting letting things happen in their own time, Cancer. I think you're going with the flow. Um, 
But know that just because you're feeling that this week, it doesn't mean that next week you, you might not be feeling something um, different, something even much better, much better than you're feeling now. I don't know if it's also like a doorway for you to heal from a situation as well. Some of you might even be taking time away from your person because the four can be like withdrawal. Some of you might feel like you need to rest, recuperate, heal behind closed doors away from someone, Cancer. You might need that time. Um, could also be that someone's not fulfilling your wishes, wants and needs. Okay. You know, when we wish upon a star, the fact that the wish card, the nine of uh, cups is sitting right below the star. Maybe that's saying something here, Cancer. Um, but I do associate this with not where you, not wanting to be where you are. Um, but I do feel like there's hope with the star card. I do feel like there's destiny. Um, and it could very well indicate that the person that you're moving forward with or entering the new phase in life, especially in matters of love, is part of your destiny. You're destined to be with this person. And maybe there might be some things that don't make you happy this week, but that doesn't mean um, coming into further timings that that can't be changed around. It absolutely can, Cancer, because you have hope. You have faith and you have hope in this connection. And this is all you'll ever need, I feel, with this person. So it is special. I'll leave it at that, though, Cancer. So I do hope this has been helpful. Uh, thank you again for all your support for the work I do here on YouTube.